Hey everyone, Shabim here and welcome back to more Motorsport Manager. Right, fresh off of the last episode when we got our first championship points, my god. <coughs> my god, five championship points. Doesn't sound like much, but that's after, what are we now, season three, season four? That's our first ever point, so I'm so hyped about that. And today we're going to start to get ready for next season. Right, let's see what else happened. La de la de la. Um, we're going to accept the interview. Rebellion Racing's come out a bit of a disaster. Race finishing 13th. What's your analysis? Got unlucky. There we go. We'll just do that. We don't want to get rid of too many people. No longer listening to offers. I'm feeling much better about my team now. Okay. Well, whatever. Dramatic race in Sydney. Excellent. Right. So hopefully we're going to get our car engine built. It's got 18 days remaining. We've got 24 days to the race. We're currently working on reliability on some of these parts, which we do need to do because it's been a bit iffy, hasn't it, really? Um, so we'll get that done. Obviously, we've got a dodgy gearbox ready for next season. I don't know after the engine if we're going to get much else done because uh, everything takes a bit longer to get made, doesn't it? So we might have to just deal with just the engine, I think. Uh, Rubens Barrichello. What a legend. Wow. Big fan of Rubens Barrichello. Um, we won't bother with that. I'd love to sign Rubens Barrichello. F1. It is a win for Ricardo. Once again, Hamilton only in second. But I think that's going to secure Hamilton the championship. It will do. Because there's no way Vettel can catch him now. So Hamilton's won the Drivers' Championship in F1. Uh, but what can we do here? We're not going to win the Drivers' Championship. Don't get me wrong, but... Can we steal some more points? If we get another two points, we can go even further up in the Drivers' Championship. Right, so where are we then? Uh, there we go. Engine built test track. It's so cool having such an amazing test track right in our HQ. It helps with the fundamental skills, overtaking, corner and braking. I've definitely become a better driver because of it. There's also space for a powertrain unit to do static tests to tune the engine. I wouldn't want a team without one. Oh, I've got an ass all maxed up, isn't it? I don't know what he's all about then. Um, but the new engine's been built. We can't fit the engine because it's too dodgy to fit. But I, look at that. Gearbox has taken us right up there now. Um, so let's not fit that because we can't. Because um, if we look at the engine... So it is currently 454 is the max, but this one can go up to 545, so it's a big upgrade. So we do need to go to improved parts, and this is the priority, people. Everyone jump off this, because this is the priority. 34 days after the race, it's not going to be peaked out before the end of the... Oh, there might be. It might be, but it's going to get better every day anyway, so... The more we do, the better, I suppose. Um, right, so, contracts running down. Whose contracts? Deegan, Key, hmm. We probably do need to do that. We'll do that next episode. We'll have a bit of a, um, a bit of a was it episode next time. We'll just do a lot of admin work. We won't do any racing next episode. Right, so we need to do probably five and, f five and four, I think. Uh, for Cape Town, it is expected to rain again for the race. But it's supposed to be dry and qualifying, okay. So yeah, that's a little cheaty thing we do, is we build the engine with all the uh, all the risky factors. But next season, it doesn't take into account the risky factors. It only takes into account the, the actual overall... Uh, what am I trying to say? The overall value of it. The, the actual attributes, the stats of it, doesn't take across the... The, the risk factor. So it's, it's really useful. It's a little cheaty way of, of building your car up quicker. But we've got a really good gearbox for next season. And we'll have a pretty good engine as well. So here we are then in Cape Town. Right, is Cohen still going rogue? Uh, it's actually Deegan's actually a better driver than Cohen. At this point in time. She's actually got her stats up a bit higher. Um, again, we're going to simulate practice and simulate qualifying, I think. Because we don't need to be doing it. It doesn't really benefit us that much does it really so we're just going to just push it through at the end of the day we just need to get into next season now we are as good as we're going to be we've learned as much as we need to know about the car 
I believe, anyway. They're using a lot of our tyres up, though, aren't they, in these sessions? So Cohen in 16th, Deegan in 19th. Of course, remember, we got 8th and 10th in the last race, which is amazing. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. Uh, we didn't do it as well here today, though, have we? Right, now we go into the qualifying. Uh, let's just auto-pick both of those. And again, we're not going to bother. Let's just um, simulate the session again. See how we get on. Hopefully finish in decent ish position. We've not even gone out yet. There we go. Cohen, 16th, Deegan, 18th. Exactly what it was in practice, really. Oh, Cohen's on a slightly better lap, but didn't manage to do it. There we go, then. 16th and 18th to start off with. And now then we can get ready. Mick Schumacher is rubbish. He's not. He's going to win the Drivers' Championship, I think you'll find. So it is raining here in Cape Town, so that's handy for the tyres. Is it going to rain consistently? Um, hmm. It's definitely going to rain for the first few laps. It's not going to get too bad, though, by the looks. It's going to go race trim. Um, no longer impact. Okay, that's good for Cohen because he's still going rogue. So he's going to be doing a lot of that sort of stuff. Uh, tyre change 50% faster. Probably pretty useful to be honest with you. We're gonna go super. No, we're gonna go ultra soft tires, I think, because hopefully it's gonna dry out and we'll get some benefit from that car setup. Then they're not really happy with the car setup. Your downforce is not right, your handling's not right, and your speed balance is not right. I feel like that should be roughly there, and then that should be more towards the acceleration side. And then obviously you start on intermediates, which is going to get you 13 to 15 laps. Again, it's going to be a two-stopper. And then Cohen, we're going to go with... Oh, you got an 88% setup. It's not bad at all, is it? Just your speed balance is a little bit out. Hopefully that way it's out. Um, and again, tyre choice, you're on the intermediates, which you're going to get 13 to 15 laps as well. Okay. Okay, then, we are ready to go. Oh, it looks like I'm back in control of him now. I'm back in control of Cohen now, by the looks of it. I am, but we're still going to stick with his tactics, which was just to go attack and overtake on that first lap, just to go crazy and try and get a good start. And it's not worked at all for Cohen, who looked very slow off the line as it dropped into 18th place, but Deegan up into 13th. Oh, there's a little roundabout there. This is the first time I've done this track, I think. I don't recognise this one. It's a new track on the um, on the calendar, this one. Nice, I like it. Uh, Deegan's up into 11th. And Aberdeen has crashed, bringing out the safety car. So let's go into... We can't pit on lap two. Let's just go into this and let's go into this. Behind the safety car, we might as well just protect our tyres and protect our fuel ready for when we need it. Uh, but that is good. That's one car down. If we can get another 10 out of the way, that'd be fantastic. Safety car's got one lap left. So it's doing well for our tyres. Make us last a bit longer. Um, we know where the rain's going to go. It's still going to continue raining. It's not going to get... It's going to get a bit wetter, and then it's probably going to dry out a bit, but it's still going to be raining, so it's not too bad. So this is helping our fuel and our tyre wear anyway. We've got one more lap behind the safety car first. But I think we do need to go to medium, medium now just to try and heat the tyres back up ready for when we come out behind the safety car. Although with the rain, I think that's part of the problem as well, to be honest. We did push our tyres quite hard for that first lap, but it didn't, really work it didn't work well for Cohen. He's dropped down to 19th position, which is not great at all, is it? Safety car returning to pit lane. Deegan in 12th, Cohen in 19th, and we are back underway. And Cohen looking to try and get back up straight away, but he's ended up dropping a position instead. 
which is not great. Um, let's put you on push. Let's try and get you past a few cars. Uh, same with you, Deegan. Let's, let's get you to push as well. Um, we're going to have to two-stop anyway, so we might as well take advantage of pushing the tyres. Cohen's having a shocking race, but Deegan's doing pretty well here today. Up in 12th position, Cohen just gets cruised past again by somebody else this time. Maybe I've just set Cohen's car up really badly, I don't know. Uh, but Deegan in 12th position, let's follow you for a bit, Deegan, because you're the one who's doing better. I'll tell you what, let's just zoom in a bit. Let's get some, some close-up shots of Deegan in action. Look at that, look. It's a bit crazy, doesn't it, really? It looks a bit of a, a head screw, isn't it, that close-up, but... Deegan's doing pretty well. Cohen has made an error, which is going to put him back into 22nd by the looks of it, because he's gone too wide. Nope, he's managed to cut around in front of him. Okay. Deegan up into 12th position. They'll have an absolute cracking race. Um, we need to come off of push now, don't we? Cohen's down to 22nd again. But then Cohen's overtaken two cars to get up to 20th. Okay. But if that was just past the pit lane, was it? I'm not sure, but... Deegan is having the best race of her life at 10 rating. She is actually a higher star rating than Cohen now, so I'm tempted to allow Deegan to become the number one driver next season. I'm tempted. I mean, Cohen's not racing very well at this point in time, is he? I mean, he has got more championship points than Deegan, though, I suppose, if you look at it that way. But he has got a much better car. You imagine what Deegan could have done in the previous race with the same car. Cohen's tyres are worn. How are we looking rain-wise then? It's still... It's still raining, okay. I mean, we don't want to pit. If I mean, have a pit now, I'm going to have to pit now, though, aren't I? So if I pit now, I'm going to have to pit bloody three times, aren't I? I'm going to get a free stopper, but... It's probably better doing that than, um... Messed around with... Uh, bad tyres. We had a bit of an error there on the front tyre. Miriam Falafel. Deegan's tyres are worn now as well. Deegan in 13th position. Let's let you cruise past the pits one more time if I can. There you go. Deegan will bring you in next lap then. Um, I think a lot of other people are going to pit next lap as well. At least Cohen's got... Cohen's just miles behind. It's not going well, is it, today for Cohen at all? I don't know what's happened with Cohen. He's really struggling here today, but Deegan's really showing him up. Considering that her car is so much, uh, not worse, but nowhere near as good as um, Cohen's. It's a long time to get those jacks up, doesn't it? Deegan heads out, and Deegan's actually going to come up still ahead of Cohen. Um, it's dropped us back a fair way. Hopefully when everyone else pits, we're going to be able to catch up a bit. How are we looking now rain-wise? Still going to rain past lap 20. Oh, really? Safety car comes out now just after we've pitted? You're joking. Oh, if we just held on for another lap, we could have pulled that off. Oh. That is annoying, that is. We've been screwed over there. By Schumacher. Oh, Schumacher. I said, didn't I? The only chance for Schumacher to lose is if Schumacher does not finish the race and Ellis wins with the fastest lap and Ellis is in second place. So Grosjean needs to finish ahead of Ellis just to give Schumacher the driver's championship. Wow, that's interesting. Can't believe that bad luck we had there. I mean, the safety car come out one lap earlier, we could have saved ourselves a lot of effort then. Oh well. Tis what it is, eh? Tis what it is. Alright, Deegan. 18th position now, we've been conned. She's lost five positions because of the safety car. But we do have a chance to uh, to get ourselves back up there. I mean, how are we looking like rain-wise now? It's still going to rain up until close to lap 30. So 
We have to stop for another set of intermediates probably in the early 20s. Delatraz has crashed now as well. Is that another safety car? No, he's quite far off the racing line. I think we should be okay with that. That's just me yellow flag. It's another crash though. And James Rossiter has crashed. What is going on with this race today? South Africa is lethal. Well, at least we're going to get a high position. That's maybe because of the crashes. Ida Cohen's tyres are underheated. Um, right, Deegan. How are we going? How are we going? Um, four cars crashed out of this race already. And we're not even halfway through yet. Uh, how are we looking like with Cohen? Going to have to pit soonish. By the looks of it. As Deegan pushing hard. Come on, Deegan. Underheated tyres again. Why are we looking like rain-wise now? We're looking like it's still going to rain up until lap 30. Okay, so we can afford to put another set of intermediates on. However, they are lasting quite a good amount of time, actually. The first set were dead after 10 laps, and now we've got a lot more out of these. Safety car, I suppose. We'll stop behind the safety car for a couple of laps. Gives us a bit of extra time, doesn't it? Um, right, so Cohen drops to 20. If Cohen is last... I don't know how Cohen is like. We must... Uh, I say we. I think not doing practice and qualifying, I think I've screwed myself over because I've not been able to set the car up properly. And that car setup has had a massive difference on the race, hasn't it? As Deegan cruises up into 15th position past Pagnord, I must have set Deegan's car up better. That's another yellow flag in Sector 3. Um, somebody else is struggling. Grosjean has crashed. Go on, give us a safety car. I'll take a safety car now. No, not typical. So Grosjean, with Grosjean out, that leaves Ellis in first. Ooh, Ellis in first. That's going to be really interesting, that is. You watch, I'm going to pit now for another set of intermediates and you watch the bloody safety car come out in two laps time. But Ellis is in first. If Ellis can get the fastest lap as well, it's going to put him joint top of the driver's championship with Schumacher. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen there. So Cohen's in for a pit. He's rock solid back of the grid today. I've really messed up his car setup, haven't I? It's my fault, isn't it? Uh, I try to rush. But it's just the end of the season, so it didn't really mean much, did it really? We just need to get it done and dust this. We can start next season and look a bit stronger. So Deegan's tyres are worn. So we probably can pit you now as well. You've done pretty well, Deegan, up in 13th position. Uh, let's get you pitted. Uh, it's still going to continue to rain until probably the end of the race by the looks of it, isn't it? So we should be okay then. Uh, we're going to have to pit again one more time, I think, for both drivers. Um, Cohen. Yeah, but I think everyone's going to have to pit twice again. Walker has been given a drive through penalty for causing a collision. That's going to be good for us, I suppose. We'll get past him for Cohen then, hopefully. Cohen should whiz past. There we go. Cohen has whizzed past two. Colombo and Fuwako. The little bit of an undercut there for Cohen worked pretty well then. Flosh has been given a drive through penalty as well. Now everyone else is pit and we can start to... Um, Take advantage a little bit here by the looks of it. Flosh has got a, has Flosh got a drive through penalty there as well. So you have to take. Looks like it. Yep, Flosh has got a drive through penalty. Cohen's up to 16. So Cohen's doing better now. This fresh set of tyres have done him well. Um, Malja and Pagnord should be able to get past those, I think. When they pit, Floor should be given a 10 second penalty for causing a collision as well. Double yellow flags. 10 second penalty for causing a collision for Tictum. Wow, there's a lot of penalties, a lot of collisions, a lot of crash, a lot of everything here today. This is a crazy race, this one. I'm enjoying this. Uh, we have got... I think everyone's going to try and finish the race on these tyres now, aren't they? 
We're not going to be able to, are we? Oh, there's a collision. Haley Deegan has crashed into... Is that Gunter? No, it's a blue flagger as well. Come on. No damage caused, thankfully, by the looks of it. We took the engine a bit. We have got a lot of fuel actually to burn off. Let's uh, let's go to high and high then. Come on, Deegan. Let's see what you've got. Yeah, let's put you on push and high then. So if we're going to pit again, we might as well take advantage, might we, I suppose. We've got to try and make that time back from the pit stop, haven't we, I suppose. Um, Fawako has hit the side of Cohen. And Fawako has been given a 10 second penalty for the cause of the collision, but screwed us over, really. Sims is retired, who's a mechanical issue. I mean, could we get to the end? There's seven laps remaining. Could we get to the end on these tyres? Probably not. Uh, if we were to pit now, then, could I put a set of... Should I just go balls to the wall? Let's just freaking do it. It's not that wet, is it? And it's Oh, it's going to get much wetter. Okay. It's going to start hammering it down again. Okay, let's go for a fresh set of intermediates then. There's only five laps remaining there. Let's just go for it. Let's just go. Let's just try and finish the race. This is not going to work, is it? Not going to work at all. I should pit. I really should pit, but... I mean, if I go into conservative tyre mode, but high engine mode, does that, does that work? Or does that conserve tyres, or...? I want to burn fuel and conserve tyres is what I want to do. If we can do that, that'd be great. Because we're up into 12th place with Deegan. I mean, if we can hold on, you never know. If there's another couple of um, another couple of people that get knocked down a bit, we might be able to sneak and sneeze? Sneak another point. But I think with the tyre where we're going to have, I think we're going to struggle, but... Gunter's tie wear is not far behind us, to be honest, so he's going to be struggling as well if he tries to continue the race. Which looks like he's going to, he's 3.3 seconds behind. Fawako's just taken out Claire Decker at the front again. Fawako's a menace, a real menace. Wow, come on. There we go. Up into 11th as Wiccan's car gives way. And Deegan's got up to 10th. Oh, I feel another point. Two laps remaining, Deegan. If you can make these tyres last two more laps and get us another championship point, you would be a hero because we might actually sneak up another place in the Drivers' Championship then. It's possible. We go, well, depends what the other team's doing, but they had one more point than us. If we can get one more point, I mean, Cohen's dropped to 60. If we can get one more point, we might go ahead of them based on uh, other finishes of the season. Looks like Deegan is going to finish in 10th. He's got one more lap to get round. You've only got 6% left on your tyres though, but the other car behind you is 5 seconds behind. It was 3 seconds behind, so you pulled away, if anything. Go on, Deegan. Go on, Deegan. In with a 10th position. Is that another championship point? Another freaking championship point? Oh, Ellis, though. Ellis, did you get fastest lap? If you got fastest lap, that's going to make things very interesting. If you got fast lap, that'd be very, very interesting, that'll be. Right. Come on, I want to see what's happened now. I'm so interested. Oh, come on, if somebody got a ban, if someone got disqualified, we moved another position forward. Checking the cars. Nothing iffy going on. Yes, we got pushed forward another position. We're up into ninth. Oh my god, if the team that were above us in the Drivers' Championship didn't get a point. Look at that, we got four and three, we got seven points. Oh, they got a point as well. Oh, and they're, they're technically above us. Whew. 
Or did they? Or was it Simtech? Simtech got seven points this race weekend. We got ahead of March. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, but either way, we got points this season. We actually got points this season. That's big. That's huge. But how did the season finish? I wasn't paying attention, was I? Let's have a look. Right, so our guys are happy. Deegan is happy. Are your stats going up? Your stats are actually are better. Wow, okay. Deegan's stats are better than... Cohen's have got a little bit better as well, actually. They're getting a little bit better. But maybe Deegan should be the one we put in the better car next season. Uh, we lost another £2 million, is what it is. So, oh, it's double points the last race of the season, isn't it? Wow, Verstappen got 50 points, but Hamilton did finish in second position, which means that he was able to win the championship. Di Ricardo, though, in third, dropping the Ferraris down to fourth. If you look at the drivers' championship, Ferrari still coming second, though. Who's Ferrari's second driver now, then? It is Sergio Perez. Wow. Finishing 10th as well. It's crazy, isn't it? So, Rock and Vest won. Um, the race, which contains what contains, it gives him that. Uh, Ford Chip Ganassi Racing is going to get promoted to F1 as well. And Ellis did not get fastest lap. Who got fastest lap then? Mick Schumacher still got fastest lap. So he's able to hold on to the championship. Wow. Big, big, big that was. We've got 18th and 19th out of 24 in the Drivers' Championship. Excellent. And we finished 10th in the Constructors' Championship out of 12. Excellent. So, World Champion is Mick Schumacher for Geely Volvo. And uh, Constructors' Championship goes to Geely Volvo as well. They'll be promoted, Grosjean and Mick Schumacher. So, there we go. That is the end of the season, more or less. We'll come back next time. Next episode will very much be a um, an admin episode. We'll do a lot of admin work. We'll get things to where they need to be, and then we'll start building our car ready for next season. There'll be no race next episode, though. If you, if you have enjoyed this one, please do hit a like and, of course, subscribe if you want to see some more. I've been Chevy Gamer. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.